Hello and happy spooky season. I hope your October is your desired level of spooky, whether you want real spooky scary or just cozy fall vibes or a bit of both. This is Future Spook Dog here to tell you that this video will have Mudkip spoilers. So if you watch his series, which you probably do, you might want to watch his latest video first. But anyway, so last video I got 99 construction, so now I can finally play the game. I mean, I joke, but I've actually been putting off certain things because I've wanted to just grind out 99 construction because I know it's something that's really useful to have fairly early on. I mean, I don't know if you'd call this early. I feel like it's early into the maxing grind, if that makes sense. Like it's still one of my first 99s. I guess that's my fourth 99 that I have. But anyway, I think this video I'm gonna do Temperas because I've been really wanting to get the fish barrel so that I can use that to like AFK Karamb ones a little bit better. And now that I have the fairy ring in my POH, which I still need to like add a tree to this. I'll do it later if I remember. <laughs> But yeah, I think with the fairy ring and with the fish barrel, Karamb ones should be pretty chill. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a while, so I think I will get it done this video. And there's other stuff that I might do this video if I need more content, if Timberos isn't enough content, because I've like showed Timberos before in a video, so I feel like there's not quite as much I can show now. But you know, we'll see what happens. Happens. I guess right now I'll just do Temperos. So the fish barrel is a 1 out of 400 from the reward pool. It's been a while since I did Temperos. I think that's like 400 points. It's like one point that you have in the corner here. The reward points is how many times you can fish in the pool, I think. And I can't tell like how many points I had previously. I don't know how to like look that up, but I don't think I've had that many anyway. There's also some other cool uniques you can get here. I don't remember if I've gotten the Tome of Water before, but you can also get the Tackle Box, which just holds different things, and the Big Harpoon Fish, and the Pet. And you can also use spirit flakes to buy the recolored angler outfit. I don't know if I'll do that this time I'm doing Temperos. I'm mainly just after the fish barrel. Nice. I have 107 permits. I'm just gonna see if I can get lucky. Okay, I got the big harpoon fish. I can get this stuffed and then mount it in my house. Cool. It's a 1 out of 1600, so that <laughs> is kind of annoying that I got that before the fish barrel, but whatever. I guess I'll go back to Temperas. I was recently informed that you can see how many permits you've opened in the collection log, so I'm just one under the drop rate right now, for the fish barrel I mean. I have some stuff I want to do, so I know I'm only at 55 permits, but I'm gonna go ahead and fish and hope I get the fish barrel. If not, then I'll just have to come back to Temperas later. Still no fish barrel. Got some nice elks, I guess. So what I'm gonna be doing right now is crafting some of my amethyst into arrow tips, and then I'll be fletching them later. I guess I'm just gonna kind of AFK this while I edit. I don't know when this video is coming out, but I'm sure it'll be after Mudkip's video. He got the Tebow yesterday, so I'm making amethyst arrows, and we're probably gonna do some TOA today because now that we have the Tebow, it would would be nice to get Missouri and also fortify it, so we're gonna be doing Armadillo at some point as well. I didn't record the moment that he got it and me like going to Chambers of Zarek to meet him outside and see him in game with the Tebo because I didn't know if it would be in this video and I didn't want to like spoil his video, but but it was a really hype moment. 
and I'm so excited for him and I'm happy that he got it, although I guess I'm mainly gonna be the one using it. Got over 10k amethyst arrows made. I still have a lot to go, I feel like I've barely made a dent in my amethyst stack. Anyway, here's my current TOA log. So I've done 7 entry mode and 40 normal. And the only like really unique items, like the purples that I have, is the Missouri mask. So what we're after is the full Missouri set because this is the best in slot range gear. So it'd be really nice to have that to go with our Tebow. So we can get full Missouri and then we can go to Armadil or we can just go to Armadil like anytime we want. It doesn't really matter which we do first. And then we can fortify the Missouri. We only really need one set because it's pretty rare that we would both be using range and if we are both using range then usually Mudkip is using his Bofa and for that he kind of needs to use the crystal armor. But who knows, maybe we'll get a second Tebow someday and then we can get a second set of Missouri. Just gonna deposit my pickaxe real quick. Here's my updated gear setup based on the stuff that I had previously. As you can see, I'm missing two spots here because this is going to be my ranged weapon, the Tebow, and this is going to be Dehyde here. I'm using rune arrows. I know I have a bunch of amethyst arrows and I can make a lot more later, but since we're just doing 150 invocation right now, it's not really necessary to use like the high level arrows right now. So I'll just be using rune. Oh yeah, and Mudkip got second dragon claws like the morning that he got the Tebow. So he got second dragon claws and then he got the Tebow like when he was streaming. So yeah, I guess it's about time to do TOA. Yeah, I just want to make sure this is you. Is, is this you? No, who are you trading? Oh crap, wait. Enjoy. Scammed, I'm logging out now. <laughs> Why don't you get banned for RWT? <laughs> Tebow for nothing. What the? That's raising some flags. I guess I shouldn't put it on now because I'll like spoil it for all these people. You ready to jump on in? Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> like a Tebow rebuild person. <laughs> True. It's so sick. Maybe she goes to the doctor then? Yeah, it does look a little bit sickly. It's like kind of green. Range. Mage. All right, our first TOA in a long time. Oh, heck, Houndor finished the hard tier combat achievement. <laughs> Congrats. Woo! I died and I got like a combat achievement. Yeah, 
damn oh, well finally, was the leech. Finally, I'm not the leech. I know I'm not really, like, over the drop rate enough to complain about it, but I'm gonna complain about it anyway. I'm starting to feel like the fish barrel doesn't exist. Maybe now that I complained about it, I'll get it soon. I wasn't planning on getting the Spirit Angler's outfit at first. I was gonna, like, wait until the end or just not get it because I'm mainly just here for the fish barrel, but I have more than enough spirit flakes for it. It's 4,800 spirit flakes, and apparently the spirit angler outfit is actually kind of better for Temporas because it acts as a rope. So there's no other benefits or anything, like it's exactly the same as the regular angler outfit, but you don't have to bring a rope in, so it like saves an inventory spot and you also don't have to like worry about losing your rope because it's just on you all the time. So you can like tether to the totem pole and stuff whenever you need to and you don't have to worry about losing items. And it also looks cool in my opinion. So I'm here at Gita Primes and I don't know if I just use these on her. Okay, yeah. And there, now I have the whole outfit. It's cool, it looks more like piratey or something like I'm ready to go sailing and then the rest of the spirit flakes I think you kind of just use for fishing yeah if you have them in your inventory they give a 50% chance of yielding double catch everywhere excluding temporos and fishing trawler and it also stacks with the rada's blessing so I guess that's what I'll do with the leftover spirit flakes since you can't really do anything else with them okay back to temporos I guess my second big harpoon fish, are you kidding me? I'm officially over twice the drop rate of the fish barrel and also the tackle box. I haven't gotten that either and it's also 1 out of 400, but I've gotten the tome of water and two big harpoon fish, which I think both of those are 1 out of 1600. By the way, I'm pretty sure the dragon harpoon is from worms and not from temporos, so that doesn't count. I have 38 permits now. Oh nice. Good luck. Hey, congrats. <laughs> Finally, it exists. Thank you for the luck. Yeah, anytime. I thought you used all of mine up getting the Tebow, but clearly not. So now that I have the fish barrel, I can do Karamb ones because they're going to be a lot more AFK than if I didn't have the fish barrel because now this is basically two inventories. This can hold up to 28 fish at a time. And also now I have the construction cape so I can use this to teleport to my house and teleport to a bank and that makes Karamb ones a lot better. By the way, if you can hear thunder in the background, yeah, it's been like kind of raining on and off today and a little bit yesterday. It's very cozy. So anyways, I guess my method is to use the fairy ring to get to the Karamb ones. Oh, I gotta open my fish barrel first. Now it's open, so any fish that I catch will immediately go in there. Well, I guess the Karamb one vessel goes to the top automatically. So all the fish I'm catching are going in here first, and then once this is full, it'll go in the rest of my inventory. My inventory is full, so I'm gonna use my beautiful construction cape to teleport to my house, since I don't have a crafting cape yet, so I'm just gonna use my Edgeville teleport to bank. <laughs> and I can empty the fish barrel straight from my bank. And now I have a bunch of crumbons that I'm gonna cook later. And now I go back to my house and use the fairy ring and go back to fishing. And I guess this is gonna be my AFK thing and the thing that I'm gonna do for 99 fishing. Cause I can't really think of anything else that I would want to do for fishing. Cause like, I think we have enough sharks that I don't really need to do minnows, but maybe I'll do some. We get a lot of shark drops just from PVM anyway. I 
Oh, it's a purple. Yo. It's your first, uh, your or your highest PB raid for invocation as well. Oh, I can't believe it. First uh, purple from TOA in like a year or so. For nine months. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. Okay, I guess. Cool. That's so cute. We're fishing together. Update on my fishing method. I'm using the Karamja gloves to teleport to the gem mine to bank because you have the bank deposit chest just right here. And then I go back to my house and use the fairy ring. I also switched the gloves and my cape, so the right click is the teleport options. But anyway, I guess I should end this video here. So here are my stats currently. I just got 96 fishing. Here's my character summary tab. Here's my current TOA collection log. So I have 54 KC of like normal modes. We've been like kind of upping the invocation, so the last one I did was like 205. I'm still getting used to it, but I think I'm slowly getting better. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a very spooky September and October or whenever this video comes out, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends.